Everyone listens to music in the car, while at work, at the gym, and we do this almost every day of our lives. What if your favorite song is actually telling you a secret, something else other than the lyrics? People say that music is their therapy. They listen to songs that make them happy or just make them feel anything at all. The average listeners aren't looking for secret messages or hidden meanings. Chances are, they're looking for a catchy tune to dance to. However, there is some music out there that secretly inserts their messages in music, probably in hopes to get a message across. Here are the top five songs with hidden messages. This Land is Your Land by Woody Guthrie. The song may remind us all of the freedom of American soil and how anything is possible in this land. However, this song is actually about communism. Shocker, right? The lyrics, this land is your land, this land is my land, may sound like a patriotic anthem, but in reality, it is lyrics to rebel against the free market, which we know dictates who truly owns the land. In fact, Woody Guthrie, the writer of the song, is an outspoken communist sympathizer. He wrote this song as a rebuttal to God Bless America. Swimming Pools by Kendrick Lamar The song Swimming Pools by Kendrick Lamar almost always gets confused by many people as another drugs and alcoholic drinking song. I mean, the lyrics are, pour up, drink, headshot, drink, sit down, drink, stand up, drink. It makes sense to think that this song promotes actions, but it doesn't. There's a deeper meaning to it that will tug at your heartstrings. Kendrick Lamar has said in an interview that the song is inspired by the dark side of alcohol and the consequences that come with it. He grew up in an area where those actions are very prevalent, and the lyrics come from reminiscing about his very early childhood years witnessing a household that had adults that indulged in drugs and alcohol in this manner. He even says that Swimming Pool is the title because there was so much alcohol in his childhood that he remembers saying that it could fill up a swimming pool. Don't Stand So Close To Me by The Police Don't Stand So Close To Me was written by the lead singer of the band The Police, Sting. A lot of people think this song is just another 80s hit that can easily get stuck in our heads for its catchy tune. But there is meaning behind the lyrics that will make you cringe. If you watch the music video, they don't even try to hide it since the setting is in a school with a singer playing the teacher lusting over a student. So yes, this song is about the forbidden love between an instructor and an underage student. Sting even says in an interview, and I quote, I've done teaching practice at secondary schools and have been through the business of having 15-year-old girls fancying me and me fancying them. How I kept my hands off them, I don't know. Creepy, right? So I guess it's not so much of a secret to him, but it is just gross to know that he was allowed to be around these young girls. Paper Planes by M.I.A. Listeners of this song can agree on one thing. The sound effects of the song are awesome. There are loud bangs and gunshots, but what does it really mean? A lot of people think it's a promotion of gun violence, but it isn't. It is actually MIA's impressions of how immigrants are perceived in the countries they move to. The lyricist is a refugee from Sri Lanka and experienced immigrant life in both Britain and America. When interviewed in 2009 about her Grammy nomination, she said that the song was about how immigrants are seen as scary because they are working the jobs that otherwise would go to a native. She also mentions that the gunshots in the music references refugees who flee countries that is currently in war. Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People When this song first came out, it was an immediate hit. Why wouldn't it be, right? The chorus is so catchy. But what does it really mean? If you listen closely, there is a dark, underlying meaning. The telltale lyrics are, All the other kids with the pumped up kicks. You better run, you better run, outrun my gun. You can tell that it is a song written primarily about school shootings. When interviewed, the lyricist Mark Foster explained that the inspiration came from the statistics he learned that there is a growing trend in teenage mental illness. He continues to say that he wanted to write a song that illustrates the mind of an isolated and psychotic kid for the sole purpose of raising awareness on the issue of gun violence. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if this is the first video you've seen on my channel, please, please, please check out the rest. I promise I do not bite.